and welcome to Benny and Moose Save America, where every week we strike back against toxic fandom and those fucking internet trolls through the power of barroom trivia. Fun match I have scheduled for today, folks. This is an Eddie Murphy themed match. And of course, I need a special host, somebody who can bring the energy to be able to contain the group that we have playing today. And that would be the one and only Allison Salamone. Hi, guys. How's it going? Oh, I didn't do it this time. Dang. Uh, I learned when I updated my iOS that I got fun little effects that happened, but apparently not that time. So that's fun. But hi, Moose. I'm excited to be here again. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thank you for being here. We have a fun match today. We have the return. One, we have all returning players today. Uh, we have the return of Tommy Goo. We have the return of Brandon. Uh, Brandon, unfortunately, lost in the Caddyshack match to the Caddyshack savant. Uh, <laughs> we also have facing, uh, and now Tommy Goo and Brandon are the slaps. We also have uh, the Oceans 2. And that would be the one and only Amadou Moses and, of course, David Jindoyan. Uh, so we're very excited. Eddie Murphy-themed match. I love all of the competitors that we're going to have today. I loved writing these questions because I, like, every one of these movies, I'm like, oh, yeah, as we're writing these questions. I just love Eddie Murphy. Uh, yeah. And so does this group. It's going to be great. I'm excited. I think it's going to be awesome. I mean, I had Amaru on with me for my own podcast back in the day about a year or so ago with a... Uh, Finally, I'd watched Coming to America for the first time because there's only one of those movies. Apparently, there was never a sequel; just just the first one is what I was told over and over again. Yeah, there might be a question or two about the <laughs> sequel in this match. We'll we'll have to find out though. But uh, I okay, I'll, I got to tell this story. Uh, I used to like I watched I watch Coming to America every year. It's one of like the 20 movies I rewatch every single year, and uh, I had gone on vacation maybe a year ago uh, with my wife and walked out on the balcony and I yelled, good morning, my neighbors. And the guy underneath <laughs> me was like, Hey, fuck you. And I was like, yes, <laughs> fuck you too. Like it worked. It worked. I was like, so excited. I was like, Oh my God, I've done that probably 10 times in my life and no one has yelled back. And it just happened to be like random place in Germany of all places. That somebody Perfect. Was like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, let's go ahead and bring in our teams. Uh, we are going to start with the slaps. That would be Tommy Goo and Brandon. And uh, Brandon, I'm going to have to have you correct me on your last name when we bring you in. But we've got the slaps. Hello, gentlemen. How are you today? Good. 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 Thank you. you. So I just want Brandon to not have a last name. He's just Brandon. He's yeah, like, Brand like Brandon Thea or fine. Rihanna. or <laughs> just, just... I like it. <laughs> The artist formerly known as Brandon T is just Brandon yeah. now. There you go. Perfect. They thought I was an, Ir I, an Irish R&B artist. Formerly known yeah. as <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, Tommy Goo and Brandon, welcome back to Benny and Moose Save America. Thank you guys for throwing out this match. Just, Tommy, this is your idea, right? You wanted Eddie Murphy yeah, match? Yeah, we, uh, we were at the uh, bar one night, and uh, he said, you know what would be good is an Eddie Murphy match. And I, I was, you know, about three uh, – Wild herds in, yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, I, I sent you the text, and we'll see what boom, happens. Came to fruition. Here we go. Yeah, it's probably always not the best idea to strategize when you're, at, you're on your third pitch. Definitely. So, but you know, <laughs> oh, I think that's the best time to strategize. I have some of my yeah, best yeah. ideas came up in a bar on yeah. four or five pitchers. For sure. Well, I've got to ask. Buddy this. and Moose came up with uh, being in a bar after four or five pitchers. So you know, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> that did. Uh, I do have to ask you guys because uh, I threw out the call, and these two guys that you will be playing against today immediately jumped at this. Um, so I think you guys are in for a good fight today. But that's, that's we <laughs> before we bring in the oceans too, uh, I would like to ask you guys both: What is your favorite Eddie Murphy movie? I'll, I'll go first. Yeah, go yeah for, for me, it was uh, Beverly Hills Cop. When uh, nice. when it first came out, um, it was 86. I was about like 10 or 11. And I literally watched that movie, and I'm not joking, every single day for 30 days. To the point where I knew every single line from every single character back in the day. Nice. Um, He's not lying. Yeah, so, that's, so that, was, <laughs> that, that was my favorite, for sure, for all of them. But it's been well, a minute hopefully since <laughs> Hopefully the release date of Beverly Hills Cop is not a question today. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Tommy Goo? Uh, you know, there's so many, but, um, and, I, and I know you know this, but 
coming to America was a lot was a lot of my firsts, and uh, but it was my first pair of black boobs that I've ever seen. So I'm gonna say coming to America, amazing. The royal penis was clean, and those black boobs were there, and I was like, never look back. <laughs> Never Amazing. disappoints. Amazing. <laughs> Never disappoints. Amazing. I know, over and over and over again. Yes. <laughs> well, guys, I am going to ask you to uh, mute for a moment while I bring in your competitors. But thank you guys for being here. Thank you for throwing out this match. I'm excited we're getting to do Eddie Murphy. Yes. Yeah. Don't shellac us too bad. The yeah, oceans yeah. too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and of course, the opponents for today: uh, one Amaru Moses and one David Jindoyan. The Oceans 2. We call you guys the Oceans 2 because you were the two to play in the Oceans franchise match. Welcome back, folks. I am very happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he's my partner. <laughs> I, thought, I honestly thought we were going to start with the Soul Glow theme as, as you came. <laughs> I, I cannot hit that high note. But, uh, Tommy, Tommy, I will tell you, I am going to give you a standing ovation. Uh, if I could actually stand right now for that comment, it's a beautiful comment. I'm with you all day, every day on that. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, gents, you did not hesitate. Both of you, I threw it out into the ether and threw it out amongst the trivia group and was like, hey, who's interested in playing an Eddie Murphy match? And both of you guys instantly responded that you both would want to play. We put the team together for you guys. Favorite Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy movies, drop it on me. Give it to me and why. That was good. Uh, honestly, you can't go wrong with Beverly Hills Cop or Coming to America. I'd say for me, that's like 1A, 1B, like – 1A for both, actually. Like, I've watched those two repeatedly back to back, and it's like one day it's this one, the other it's that. So, for me, for all the reasons they said as well, it's exactly that. <laughs> How about you, Rue? What is your favorite Eddie Murphy movie? It is Coming to America, but the one that always comes to mind outside of that is uh, actually probably one of his most underrated, and I don't know why, uh, Life. Ooh, probably nice. the funniest movie he has been in. Uh, it almost, almost beats coming to America for the funniest. Uh, Cause my gosh, all of those gentlemen in that movie, absolutely hilarious. And for those of you who might be confused, we're not talking about the Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal life. That movie's <laughs> awful. We're talking about the Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence movie life. That movie rocks. I hope there's not a question asking who Eddie Murphy's co-star in life is in this match now either. <laughs> Points all around if it is. <laughs> yeah. Match going. Round number one, you guys will need writing utensils. Got it. Remember, you cannot confer. Okay. You do have bartender's hints. But before we begin, I realized I made a criminal mistake. Allison, what is your favorite Eddie Murphy movie? Oh, that is such a good question. I mean, I, of course, Coming to America is amazing. I'm so glad I finally got to experience that gem of, of a comedy um, but I also think, and I'm probably going to get flack for, I don't know. I think it's hilarious, but it's more of like a nostalgia thing probably, but I absolutely love the nutty professor. And I think yeah, everything that sure. he does yeah, in that one thing. is yeah. incredible. The scene, it reminded me of a family Thanksgiving with everyone sitting around a table farting. Cause it was like, Oh, been there, you know, 35 years of just energy. I feel seen for the first time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> all right well, we are you gonna Moose, you didn't say yours what's your what, what's your favorite eddie murphy movie i mean i gotta go with coming to america very close second is gonna be the nutty professor um and yeah you know what dude i'm gonna give some love to the golden child oh my god i just watched that for the first oh, time love the golden ago. child baby we were flipping through channels and it was just on something and my husband was like oh my god it's the golden child we sat and we watched the whole thing it was great all right you guys ready allison you want to take question number one i sure can take question number one um all right gentlemen for question number one uh category is eddie's first time and your question what was the first movie Eddie Murphy was in? DJ's already got his answer down there. He's ready to go. We love that. It's either right or it's completely wrong. <laughs> Usually how trivia works, either you're right or you're wrong. So that's, <laughs> that's also fair. <laughs> 
<laughs> if we can't read it, it's half right. So you're, you're almost there. <laughs> I will say this. I've played in a few matches against Amaru, and there's been a couple of times where like a question will get thrown out and he'll be like, and there's like one definitive answer. And he's like, no, no. He's like, let me negotiate <laughs> this. And he gets the point. Like, it's like, that's... He was in this movie for five seconds as uncredited. So that yeah. would be like, that's literally what's going to happen this entire uh, yeah, game. Yeah, like, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, well, that's we'll get your right. answers in five. Four, three, two, one. Uh, let's start with Tommy Goo. Um, I hope it's 48 hours. It is 48 hours. Nice job, Brandon. 48 hours. Amaru. I did not abbreviate it, but yes, 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and DJ. Like, like my teammate, I also didn't abbreviate it 48 hours. <laughs> nice job, guys. I mean, I'll give everyone the points. I just got to say, like, Brandon, like, you. it's only two letters. Like, I <laughs> I'm the master of nicknames and short like acronyms. So we luckily I got the that. four. I was gonna put like uh like the Roman numeral four, make it even shorter. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was gonna be that yeah, <laughs> credited role where he just like walked by or something like that. Like, yeah. And if it was Amaru would have gotten it right, I can tell you yeah. that right now you're playing with him on <laughs> playing against him as well. Uh question number two, guys, and this is in the category of you ass. You ass. How many times has Eddie Murphy voiced the role of Donkey in the Shrek franchise? I finally got to do the new ride at Universal that took over for Shrek 4D here in Orlando. That's not like a Minions villain con. It's like you stand on like a little moving walkway and you shoot at things. It's fun. Fair. Yeah. You know, no more headache from bad 3D glasses in Shrek 4D where, like, the camera's just, like, it's just off enough. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to Universal Studios. And I there's one in California. Well, you know. You should probably get on that. Five, four. Three. They have a Jurassic Park ride, so I probably mm -hmm. should go take advantage of that. One. Brandon, your guess. Okay, okay. I, I already put my answer, but this is how many times he voiced it, so which means how many times in the movies I put four times. Is that that right? is correct. Four oh, times. Okay. All right. Amaru. I did the Roman numerals. Four. <laughs> Except I didn't put the actual Roman numerals. I love numerals. it. Fair. That's good. DJ. I have four. Correct. And Tommy Goo. Four. There we go. Four. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Nice Thank you, guys. I can see Amaru now. He's sitting there. He's checking them off in his head. That one. <laughs> that one. That one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if he was in either of the Puss in Boots. That was gotcha. Gotcha. Right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Perfect. All right. Question number three for our Eddie Murphy match. The category is name that Eddie movie. <laughs> and your question: Name the Eddie Murphy movie from the following supporting cast: Renee Russo, William Shatner, Mose Def, and Alex Borstein. Jesus Christ. And what was the category? To name the Eddie Murphy movie. Oh, okay. In the Eddie Murphy match. Okay. DJ was um, quick on the gun, though. He was know. real he quick. Was. I'm going to need to find out from the rest of y'all in five, four, three. You guys do have a bartender if you want to use it. I'll use my bartender. One, all right. And that bartender hint. Let me grab I'm my beer because right now I'm your bartender. Uh, <laughs> category of name that Eddie movie. Name the Eddie Murphy movie from the following supporting cast. Rene Russo, William Shatner, Moe's Def, and Alex Borstein. And your bartender's hint. We left out the big Bobby D intentionally but since you wasted a bartender's hint, you can have it. Jesus, that didn't help nice. out either. Bobby D. Oh, it seems like Rue Ru, Ru, Ru was able to, to pick up on yeah. that bartender's hint. And we'll get those answers in five, four, three, two, one Rue, I'm gonna come to you first. What do you got? I was really mad because I didn't know a most deaf film, but uh Robert De Niro's in Showtime. That is correct. Oh, Bobby D referring to Robert De Niro, correct. <laughs> uh DJ, what do you got? Criminally underrated film, Showtime. Awesome. Nice. Tommy Goo. 
<laughs> close, close. That was that was that was our other guest. And uh, oh. Brandon, what do you got? Yeah, I got it wrong. Pluto Nash. All right, yeah, nice try. Yeah. And yeah, taking the lead, so we have so Oceans time. Two going yeah. into question number four. One I didn't uh, study. I know. This is the question, and or this is in the category of Eddie's co-stars. Yeah. Who stars as special agent Alex Scott, who recruits Eddie Murphy's boxing champ, Kelly Robinson, to help him with a global saving mission in the 2002 movie, I Spy. I never realized how many Eddie Murphy movies I don't know. <laughs> so, right <laughs> See, I can, I can defend who, Showtime. Who stars as the, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Are you using a bartender's hint? Oh, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, then I can't. Okay. Here, I'll shorten it. Who is Eddie Murphy's co star in I Spy? Yeah. I follow the rules. <laughs> Moose shows favoritism to family, as you heard it here first. <laughs> I would have given it to, hey, I would have given it to the oceans, too. <laughs> in five, four, three, two, one last chance to write a quick guess, and DJ, your guess. Wow, it's Owen Wilson. It is, it Owen, is Owen Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. Tommy Goo. Jesus, Tommy, kill him. Alex Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Brandon, your guess. Owen, Owen Wilson, Wilson is correct. And Rue. Wow. Killing us. Mobius. Mobius I love that That's we right. started this whole match with a Tommy Goo saying that it was an <laughs> idea to have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to question number five. In the category of short names, in the 1998 movie Holy Man, starring Eddie Murphy and Jeff Goldblum, what one letter name does Eddie Murphy's character go by? You have 26 options for this one, Tommy. <laughs> I'll make it simple. Brandon, there's no abbreviating this one. <laughs> Know this one. Hey, I got you. It's a uh, 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 Roman numeral or uh, the, 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 the Greek, the Greek letters. The Greek letters. Here That's we go. Right. All right, we'll get that answer in five, four, three, two, one. Back to the top, Tommy Goo. What do you got? Jeezy. The correct letter and Brandon. Awesome. It is G Ru. G. Nice job. And David. He's a G. You guys got it. Awesome. Great job, guys. Now, hearing how much love there is for coming to America, uh -oh. if anybody misses this oh, question, uh, the other oh. team is going to get the points that they missed for. <laughs> oh, no. This is in the category of Prince Akeem. This is where I freeze up. Shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait to jinx us, man. Wait to jinx us. <laughs> prince Akeem is the crown prince of what fictional African nation in oh, coming to America? Right. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Whew, I was thinking it was going to be something like super deep. Yeah. I was be like, <laughs> what's the name of his elephant? How many <laughs> pairs of boobs do you see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, those, those questions all come later. Trust me. <laughs> we got, I mean... You can tell we all loved coming to America because there's plenty of those questions coming. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Alex Trebek's like, yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Uh, Brandon, your guess, sir. Zamunda. Zamunda is correct. Rue. There was a half a second where I forgot. I was like, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Zamunda. <laughs> Zamunda is correct. Ooh, nice. I, I double checked myself. I'm like, wait, this is the right answer. It is <laughs> correct. And Tommy. Zamunda. Zamunda is correct. Nice it was job. funny. A few weeks ago, at one of our uh, brewery trivia matches, this mm -hmm. question came up. And like one of the guys next to us playing at the table was like, I know this. And he answered Wakanda. And I was oh, like, yeah. no. <laughs> no, sir, no. That is incorrect. Oh, no. Bless us. And he was so confident with it, too. That's always the worst when you're that confident, but that wrong. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, question number seven. I digress. Uh, our category is Eddie the voice talent. And your question. Aside from Donkey, 
Eddie Murphy has only lent his talents to one other vocal performance for what Disney movie? I had to wait on that one to see where the question was going to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could see a couple of you like this. <laughs> where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? We'll find out in five, four, three, two, one. Rue. Uh, the joke is worth any points anybody else might want to get. Uh, like uh, Chris Tucker said, we want some Mushu. Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> and DJ. Mulan. Awesome. No dishonor on anyone's houses so far. Tommy Goo. Mulan. Great. And Brandon. Mulan. Nice job being true to your heart, everybody. <laughs> Do that. It's a great song. Next question is in the category of Oscar Eddie. Tragically, Eddie Murphy has only been nominated for an Oscar one time, hopefully so far. For what movie was he nominated for Best Supporting Actor? How he didn't get nominated for the like for playing Sherman Clump and all of this is back when the Oscars didn't appreciate comedy as much. Hmm. But they gave it to uh, uh, Jack Sparrow, which I actually don't mind, but still. Oh, you know, because he's great. Yeah. I'm not going to defend that one. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Five, four, three, two, one, and Amaru. Alan Arkin should not have won that. No. Agreed. Also correct on both fronts. DJ. Extra point. I'm just kidding. <laughs> also agreed on all fronts, but Dream Girls. Ah. Dream Girls is correct. Tommy Goo. Dolmite. That was Dolmite. Thought we we studied that, but I guess we got it wrong. Fuck. <laughs> Dream oh, Girls man. is the correct answer. Because, uh, but but didn't he get nominated for that? But didn't win. No. Or was that just for, it? Wasn't the grant? Or was it? Sadly, he didn't, and he should have. If you've seen that movie, he was outstanding. I think that's what it was. I think that was the big talk around it, is that he was not even nominated. Oh, All right. Okay. All right. Very deserving. All right. And your final question of round one in the category of Eddie, the director. Eddie Murphy both wrote and directed what 80s movie? Man, Ocean's right. 2 is going perfect so far. If they get this one right, it'll be a perfect round one. Right? Yeah. How exciting. Let's find out if they're right in five, four, three, two, one. DJ, what do you got? Harlem Knights. That's correct. And Tommy Goo? Harlem Knights. Awesome. Brandon? Harlem Knights. You got it. All right, Rue, you got it. Also, one of his funniest ever, Harlem Knights. Yeah. No, nice. nice. Very cool. Perfect oh. round for you guys. Perfect oh, round one for Oceans 2. Nice but not Ocean. too bad. Not not a bad outing for, for uh, what slaps. did you guys The slaps, that's your team name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the game is not completely out of hand. It's 18 no. to 13 currently. Nope. Good job. Anything can happen in yeah. round two. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I would have gotten one of these questions right probably <laughs> maybe two uh i think the only one i might have missed and i would have had to look it up was g move on uh so oceans two you guys are in the lead would you like to choose your category first in round number two or defer to your partners Opponents. whatever you want to do man i'm down uh we'll defer we'll, we'll, we'll let them go first Okay, so Tommy, Goo, and Brandon, I'm going to bring up the wheel. Wait for me to unmute you, and then tell me when you want me to stop. Guys, just tell me when to stop. Ah. Your category is 2000s Eddie. Yes, of course it is. All righty. <laughs> Why did you have me pick? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got this. We got this. Alice, then go ahead and ask to... All right. Snaps. Good news is, is you guys get to collaborate and you still have two bartenders. Hence, okay. So do with that as you will. Uh, okay. All right. Your first question in 2000s, Eddie. 2002 was a busy year for Eddie Murphy. 
He released three movies in 2002, Showtime, I Spy, and What Other Movie? You guys can talk to one another. Yeah, you don't try you it don't down, have to write it down. If, if you have it, just let us oh, oh. say it, oh, and okay. then let us know final answer. Okay, okay go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Adventures of Pluto Nash. Is that your final answer? Yes. You are correct for oh, two nice. points. Nice it job. Okay. I don't have to write it. Okay, We're cool. Good. Yeah, no, all done writing. You're all by yourself. Now. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your next question. How many different characters did Eddie Murphy portray in the 2007 movie Norbit? Yeah, Three. Final answer. That is correct for another two points. Um, real glad I didn't read the parentheses in here. I'm glad you, you took some notes here. <laughs> in parentheses, I I listed the three characters: Norbit, Respucia, and Mister Wrong. But then I like put, "Do not read this." <laughs> right, right, right. Which probably would have been better first because if I was Ron Burgundy, I would have yeah. gone through the entire thing. <laughs> it was on the teleprompter. <laughs> All right, question number three. Who plays the role of number two, the second in command of Dave, who assumes command once the crew starts manifesting feelings? In the Eddie Murphy classic, Meet Dave. Gosh, who plays number two? I don't know. Jordan Lassie, I don't know if I can answer. I even have to get this in. I have no, I have no oh. clue. True. You guys also have multiple choice, so we can go drop down okay. multiple choice. All right, let's try multiple choice. All right. Um, wait, do I repeat the question during multiple choice? I, 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 yeah, you can. Okay, I, 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 you can shorten the question if you'd like. Okay. Uh, who plays the role of number two, the second in command of Dave in the Eddie Murphy classic, Meet Dave? Is it A, Scott Kahn, B, Gabrielle Union, C, Kevin Hart, or D, Ed Helms? Uh, is, it, is it Gabrielle Union? It was not Gabrielle oh. Union. So for the one point steal to Oceans 2, who plays the role of number two, the second in command of Dave, who assumes command once the crew starts manifesting feelings in the Eddie, Mur Eddie Murphy classic Meet Dave? A, Scott Kahn, B, Gabrielle Union, C, Kevin Hart, or D, Ed Helms? Uh, I know this if you want, Rue. It's uh, so Gabrielle Union was his number three. Ed Helms was his number two. Oh, yep. That yeah. is correct for the That's one point place. steal. I kept All saying right. Jason Sudeikis in my head. I was like, nope, wrong <laughs> guy. <laughs> uh, but are they? Are they not the same person? All right. Next okay. question. Sudeikis may be a better version of Ed Helms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number four. Eddie Murphy starred in two movies in the 2000s that were directed by Steve Carr, Dr. Doolittle 2, and what other movie? 2000s? 2000s. By Carr, Jesus. Can we? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Multiple choice again? You do? You want to try it? I'll go with you. You want to try it? Well, yeah. Okay, sure. I'll do it. Say it. Uh, Daddy Daycare. Correct for two points. Nice, nice, nice pull. Good job. Right All right. For ultimate question of two, a long-running gag in the Shrek movie. What former radio talk show host plays the role of Boris of the stepsister in the Shrek franchise? Yeah, I, I gotta be honest. Yeah, 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 can, yeah, yeah we didn't hear. We didn't hear anything. Out. Can you hear me now? Drop down. Yeah. yeah. Am I good? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Let me make sure we are. I will repeat that question. Here. Okay. This... So sorry. <laughs> this was no one heard me, and that is great. Love that for me. So much. All right. Here we go. A long running gag in the Shrek movies. What former radio talk show host voices the role of Doris, the ugly stepsister in the Shrek franchise? Next question. Jesus. Talk show host? Long standing talk show host. And it's a stepsister? Oh, it's a it's a dude for sure. It's a dude? Yeah. Um, it's 
can be multiple choice. Yeah, can we go multiple choice? You sure can. So yeah. who, what former radio talk show host voices the role of Doris in the Shrek franchise? Is it A, Joan Rivers, B, Simon Cowell, C, Larry King, or D, Wanda Sykes? Joan Rivers, right? Is it Joan Rivers? It is not Joan Rivers. So now for the two, for the one point steal, we go to Oceans 2. A long running gag in the Shrek movies. What former radio talk show host voices the role of Doris, the ugly stepsister in the Shrek franchise? A, Joan Rivers, B, Simon Cowell, C, Larry King, or D, Wanda Sykes? Larry King. I think, yeah, I was going to say Larry King. Larry King, by the That is correct for the one point yeah, steal. Yeah. Nice job, guys. Yeah, I think it was yeah. a dude. But you don't really know what <laughs> yeah. uh, No, I didn't. Yeah, okay. Larry King, yeah. <laughs> All right. And your final question in 2000's Eddie. Name the 2003 Eddie Murphy movie from the fellow co stars Wallace Shawn, Jennifer Tilly, Marsha Thomason, and Terrence Stamp. You guys want to go multiple choice? I'm going to answer him. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck it. Four. Multiple yeah. choice? Multiple choice, please. Multiple choice. All right. So the following co-stars from what? 2003 Eddie Murphy movie. Wallace Shawn, Jennifer Tilly, Marsha Thomason, and Terrence Stamp. Is it A, Shrek the Third, B, The Haunted Mansion, C, Imagine That, or D, Showtime? Haunted Mansion. That is correct for one point. Yeah, nice yeah, job. Yeah. 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 All right. So we are now all tied up at 20 apiece for each team. And Mr. Moses, you are on my friend. Just let me know when to stop. Stop. Your category is 1990s, Eddie. Okay. And Moose will be asking your questions. Go ahead, Moose. All right, gents. 1990s Eddie. What former Saturday Night Live alum voices Dr. Doolittle's dog Lucky in Dr. Doolittle and Dr. Doolittle Part 2? I, I, I can't remember you. his name. I know you. Uh, I can't remember so his name. Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald. There right. we go, yes. All right, yes, Norm MacDonald, final answer. That is correct. For two points. Took it to back, right? Yeah, you look like you wanted to say. I was like, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was telling you to go because like I know who it is, but I could not remember his name. So please say it for me. I got you. <laughs> well, we'll still confer. We'll still confer. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence appear in two movies in the 1990s. Name both movies. So okay. one is life. One is life, yeah. Um, um as established earlier, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, damn, I'm drawing a blank now. Yeah, same. Um, you want to use a bartender hint? For I was going to say, do you want to go with a hint before multiple? or? Yeah, yeah. Let's go All bartender right, we'll, hint. Let's go bartender hint. Okay. Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence appear in two movies together in the 1990s. Name both. And your bartender's hints, folks, is if you throw this right, it comes back. And the other one is a very life or is a very long prison sentence. <laughs> boomerang. That's, yeah, boomerang in life, yeah. Boomerang, Boomerang in, life. in life is correct for right. two points. <laughs> At the end of the movie Life, starring Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, what are Claude and Ray doing? I think they're attending uh, a baseball game. Yeah, I was going to say the Yankee game, right? The baseball game? Yep. Attending a baseball game. Final answer. I'll give it to you guys. They are attending a Yankees game, but the Yankee was brought I, I, up I in the conversation. Yeah, the Yankee yes. was brought in the discussion. So they took the two points. <laughs> you, you said Yankee. Does it count? Yeah. <laughs> you said a Yankee game. There's no yeah. S in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just one Yankee playing in the whole just game. Just one Yankee playing at every position on the field. <laughs> I wonder if she goes out with one of the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Murphy appears in two movies that are sequels to movies that he had in the 80s. What was the first movie to come out in the 1990s? Uh, did another 48 Hours come out in the 90s for one? And, and 
If not, did something else come? Did something else come out before Beverly Hills Cop Three? Not that would be a sequel. Um, yeah, the only other one would be another Forty Eight Hours. I just don't know what year that came out. Um, I feel like that's still the '80s, so I don't. I think it's Beverly Hills Cop Three. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. What shooter you want to go, Bono? I trust you. You go. You've been good so far, so you go. Let's for it. let's go multiple here. Let's go multiple. Eddie Murphy appeared in two of his movie sequels in the 1990s. Which came first? Was it A. Beverly Hills Cop Three, B. Doctor Doolittle Two, C. The Nutty Professor Two, or D. Another 48 Hours? So it's it's basically like what we thought. Uh, yeah, no, I, understand. I, I understand the question a little more now, but I just misheard it, I guess. I think it's um, Beverly Hills Cop 3, because I don't think it's... Uh, yeah, I think it's Beverly Hills Cop 3. So you're saying which one came out first? Yeah, yeah, which one came out? Well, ooh. So that's what I mean. Like, So wouldn't it be an, Which one came hours? out in the 90s first, or which one came out first? Because he said... I ah. I think another 48 hours, if they're asking Three. for the first one, right? Sure, another Two. another 48 hours, final answer. One... You guys got there. It is another oh, 48 hours. Thank you. Great. I tell you, the question, that was the question. great teamwork, man. Dude, that was good. That, 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 that was good. Highly what year impressive. did another 48 hours come out? I think that came out 1990. in 1990. Yeah. That's why I was yeah. so That's why I was like, if it's the yeah. first one, then it's well, that. If it's the other, then it's the other. Right. Boy, the slaps are licking their chops on that one, though. They... Oh, yeah. <laughs> any, any point uh, counts. Any point counts. I know. You guys could pull off a bank heist <laughs> just like the ocean guys yeah nice job boys in the 1995 movie vampire in brooklyn when eddie murphy's character gets shot for the first time what phrase does he use to describe the feeling i haven't seen this in a long time uh same um uh we could I go say, i would say multiple because i don't know if a hint would really help yeah, I, I, I will. Yeah, uh, I'm good with that. Multiple choice. Okay. Is it A, ouch, B, it itches, C, big mistake, or D, is that it? Initial gut says itches, but I don't. That was, that was mine too, so let's go for it. All right, it itches, final answer. That is correct. Wow. Nice. Point. Jesus. That's yeah. nice. That sounds like a something in Eddie Murphy. Would it's do. like you guys played movie trivia or something for. <laughs> yeah. <a number> of <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Okay. You Your last question. <laughs> in addition to playing the Clump family and Buddy Love, Eddie Murphy plays a mockery of Richard Simmons in The Nutty Professor. What was that character's name? I don't remember, and Moose told me when I played Paige or played with Paige, and I cannot remember the guy's name. Damn. I freaking know this one, too. Oh, shit. It's... Use a bartender if you want. If not, go multiple. I think maybe just multiple. I kind of want to save those bartenders in the last one just in case. All right. Uh, multiple choice. Is it A, Buddy Love? Oh, let me repeat the question. In addition to playing the Clump family and Buddy Love, Eddie Murphy plays a mockery of Richard Simmons in The Nutty Professor. What was that character's name? Is it A, Buddy Love, B, Reggie Warrington, C, Harlan Hartley, or D, Lance Perkins? Lance Perkins, right? It's, I, is it, I think it's Reggie, isn't it? Maybe. Who, well, I don't know why Lance Perkins came out. Uh, go with what you have. Wait, hold, you on, hold, on, hold, it, on. So. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Damn it. I don't want... If your gut says Reggie and you said you do it, yeah, go with Reggie. If we're wrong, I'm sorry. Um, all right, Reggie. That is incorrect. Damn it. So the slaps. All In right. addition to playing the Clump family and Buddy Love, Eddie Murphy plays a mockery of Richard Simmons. What was that character's name? Was it A, Buddy Love, B, Reggie Warrington, C, Harlan Hartley, or D, Lance Perkins? I don't know any Buddy Love or Reggie. Yeah, yeah. Lance Perkins. Lance Perkins is correct for one. Point. Sorry, Ru. Sorry, man. It's all good. That is all good. All right. 
That's tough because all those characters are actually yeah, characters funny. from the movie. Reggie Warrington yeah, was uh, Dave Chappelle's Dave character. Chappelle's oh, right. I, I kept hearing him yell Bro, Reggie. I'm like, why did I remember that? I'll give you time to go find a new one if you want. Oh, this last shit. round. No. <laughs> no. Damn. Okay. They are human. <laughs> but going into round number three, they are if human. If you bleed. <laughs> if he bleeds, you can kill him. The score is... <laughs> The score is 28 to 21 in favor of uh, the Oceans 2. Number one is going to go to the Slaps. Okay. You guys are going to be able to talk to each other this entire time and confer. Um, Allison, my recommendation is to just read them in random order. Sounds good. I can do that. Um, Maybe. I might forget which ones I left off on, but we're going to do our best. We're going to do our (laughs) We're Keep going on that. Do, we, we got this. All right. You guys ready? Let's do it. Remember, right. you have your double down. So once you hear the category and the point value, if right. you like it, Allison will pause in between giving you the category and point value for you guys to quickly discuss. Rue and DJ, you guys also have your hostels. So that will be your time as well to be able to confer and discuss during that pause. How many hints do we have left? And, uh, I think both. I think both teams have two bartender hints left. Bartender. Okay. That is correct. Then yes. We're done with our multiple then we're done. Choices. Oh yeah. We, we, there's no more multiple choices. Huh? No more multiple that choices. Is correct. Okay. okay. So okay. We just gotta Straight get up it. answers, guys. Okay. All, right. All right. So we All are right. going to dive right in with the slaps. We're going to start you guys off with your three-point question in the category of stockbroker Eddie. All awesome. right. And this is your three-point question. What stock market commodity did Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd short sell that ended up bankrupting the Duke brothers in trading places? I believe it was uh, frozen orange juice, like frozen concentrate orange juice. That is correct for your three. Uh, That was exactly Uh, it. It literally is frozen orange orange juice. I I would have given no, that was standing in the rain, but then that's what I'm saying. I would have given you that frozen orange juice, but I don't know about these other guys to everyone uh, around here that are sticking to the rules. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Our next category is going to be Eddie's worst, and that is your two-point question. What actor plays Bruno, an old inferior 63 deluxe model android, Pluto's childhood friend, and smuggling partner in the classic The Adventures of Pluto Nash? Can you call it a classic if the category is Eddie's worst? <laughs> I watched it a lot. Actor yeah. <laughs> old android partner. He's old android partner? I guess we don't need to be whispering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't Oceans know. Are like, you know, yeah, I don't know. Brainstorming yeah. and throwing yeah. ideas against have, the wall. I have no idea. Like in five, four, yeah. three. Give me, give me a bartender. Oh, yeah, I'm about a bar, yeah, bartender. Bartender. Yeah. bartender. Yeah. We'll All bartender. right, your bartender's yeah. head. Yeah. All right, in the category of Eddie's worst. Nice. <laughs> What actor plays Bruno, an old inferior 63 deluxe model android, Pluto's childhood friend, and smuggling partner in the classic uh, film, The Adventures of Pluto Nash? And your bartender's hint. All right, you alien assholes, in the words of his generation, up yours! Okay, can I get the bartender's hint? (laughs) (laughs) You serious, Clark? Nice. Answer in five, four, three. Do you want to hustle this one? Or I'll just two. Yeah. Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. That is incorrect. The answer is Randy Quaid. Oh, uh, up yours was from <laughs> Independence Day, right? Was I right? Oh, that's, 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 that's yes. fucking Independence yeah. Day. Goddamn. Fucking okay. Independence Day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I drop the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation quote from Cousin Eddie, 
like that's a gimme. I got to make it a yeah. little challenging for you guys. I would have told you Caddy, Twitter was Caddy Shack too. I, I was going to say one. Randy and Caddy Shack too. I would have I would have said I would said make sure you don't kiss him on the mouth. He's got a little thing going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And now we're going to jump into the category of Detroit's own. This is your four-point question. Okay. Detroit's own. This is your four-point question. Bronson Pinchot plays the role of Sir. 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 I couldn't do the accent. In two <laughs> Beverly Hills Cops movies, name both movies in which he appears as that guy's name. As Sir. Serge? Yes. Yes. So uh, it's Beverly Hills Cop, the first one. You got, you know, you know, the little hair looks like, uh, you know, meat coming out of the top. <laughs> and uh, the other one is uh, Beverly Hills Cop 3 when he has a super machine gun, the fucking Super Gun 2000, whatever it's called. So Beverly Hills Cop first one and Beverly Hills Cop 3. Wait, wait. You didn't confer with me. She said two. She said two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. three. That, well, I know for yes. sure. Yes. 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 Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> Great job, gentlemen. That you yeah. got your Good pull. Good pull. Good pull. Good pull. <laughs> and I Where love, you know what? I would give you an extra half a point just for all the extra details you've yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make up for the last question. Yeah, your ball. Okay. I could have said Achmel. Achmel fully. <laughs> Axel. Okay, we'll do that one. <laughs> All right. Our next category is Magical Eddie. And this is your six point question. God. Um, so do you want to fuck? Uh, so we, we need to do something. We need to do a six or to, to Let's double down that bitch. Magical Eddie. <sighs> Screw it. We'll, we'll have to double down. Okay. Go for it. Let's go. All right. You also still have a bartender's hint. So, okay. Yeah, we can. All right. Here is your question. DJ Amaru, you guys going to sit this one out? Yeah, I, I kind of think I think we had the same exact thought of like, should we? And then they didn't. They were like, nah. No, I think we're good. <laughs> All right. Is that mercy from you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Still got the five quarter. All righty. Uh, category is magical, Eddie. Your six point question, and you guys have chosen to double down on <sighs> the one. All right. Movie I have no idea. <laughs> In the Golden Child. Eddie Murphy's character Chandler is revealed to be the chosen one to help save the golden child. But in order to defeat evil, he requires what weapon that he later uses to stab the evil Numsa with? Numsa? Numsa? It's the uh, Numsa. Numsa. But is there like a name for the knife? Because it's that I mean, giant, like. Like what weapon? Or does it. Well, okay, I guess we can't really. Does the weapon have a name? Well, that's what I'm saying. Because. It's it's a it is a specific. I will say I without giving like the actual BS. There is it is by a specific name. Oh, yes. We are looking for the specific name of it. Yes. Oh my god! Because I know it's that it's a knife with the freaking all the M, like the with the special you know the you know the handle special but handle I, knife. Yes, it's not <laughs> a special handle knife. It's really good. All knife. right, I need an answer. Yeah. Bartender's hint in five. Uh, but bartender, yeah, we're gonna have to do bartender's hint. All yeah, right, bartender's hint in the category of magical Eddie. Your six point question in the golden child. <laughs> nice. In the golden child, Eddie Murphy's character Chandler is revealed to be the chosen one to help save the golden child. But in order to defeat evil, he requires what weapon that he later uses to stab the evil Noopsa with. <laughs> Oh, and your hint. I got to give you that part. The hint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your your hint. The first name is a city in Ma Maharashtra. I can't fucking say this. Maharasa. <laughs> Maharasa, India, and the second is another term for a knife. <laughs> it's um. It's a city. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dagger. It's a dagger. But I need, a, we need the name of the dagger? Or yes. yes. Right. Then it's a first name in a, in Maharasa, India. The first name is a city in Mahar Maharasa, India. I am so sorry to uh, fuck you, Moose, for making this be the, the bartender's <laughs> You try finding a common <laughs> <laughs> phrase for the first name of this dagger. If it's what Five, I think it is, he's right on that. Four. Uh, fuck three, it. Um, uh, 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 John, 
John Tay, a John Tay dagger. John, dude, I don't, I can't, I'm not dude, 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 I'm so. That's what I had too. Holy right shit! Right wow. Like trying to play. Is that right? Yes, that is right. right. Come on, Slappy. Is it right? It's right. Yes. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Dude, Whoa. That's oh, nice. Out of there. I mean, I'm telling you. Wow. wow. That, that was, big points. That yeah, was. Yeah, the, the only other the only other kind of thing was uh he was a big fan of Rat, which is Body Talk, which was a song that they played in there when they were, when they were fighting. Because <laughs> I went down like, dude, he was a big Rat fan. He's been hoping to move. Like he's done a trivia question on that. Yeah. Wow. That even, I was like, waiting for Rat. rat. Wow. He must have brought that up seven that times. That was wow. incredible. A 12 point swing to the nice. slap. Great. Wow. Well goal. done. Well Amazing. done. Amazing. Um, That's incredible. I didn't think anybody was going to get that. And then DJ held up his whiteboard and I was like, two right. people know this. <laughs> <laughs> we Bring got the right the people for this match. That's clearly, really clearly. All right, guys. Your next category is. Today, Eddie, and this is going to be your one point question. Okay. 48 hours and another 48 hours both take place in what West Coast city? Oh, fuck. Um, it's uh, because they, they escaped the jail. It's not LA. It's not LA. The bridge. It might be San Francisco. It San Francisco. It might be San Francisco. Okay. Um, is it? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, San Francisco. Correct for one more point. Nice job, guys. And your final question. This is your five point question in the category of it's good to be king. Oh, what are you saying? Uh, that's up to you. I, you know, I haven't, I not, didn't listen to you one time and it cost us. So I'm going to trust your gut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if they got a Jaunty though, I feel like they might get this one. <laughs> oh, dude, are you kidding? I, I have, I have random stuff, dude, but not so much a, random a, stuff. A, 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 a well, if it's, no, if it's, 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 right. it's good to be king. king. Like it's gotta be something about coming to America, right? Probably. And I would not want to do that. Yeah, it's 50 50 because if it's a five pointer, it might be about the sequel, but then it's like that's what I'm thinking. I think it's the shitty one that I turned off. (laughs) Hey, if you don't want to risk it, I'm fine not risking it. No, I mean, I've seen it, but it's just terrible. Eh, Fuck it, let's use it. Whatever. All right, the Haas Holen. Here we go. This is worth 10 points to you if you get it correct, and it's worth five points to them if we do this. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Final question What actress? Plays the role of Queen Aeolian. Aeolian. I'm this fuck you, Moose, with these questions. <laughs> Who plays the role of Queen Aeolian Jopper, Akeem's mother, and Queen of Zamunda in Coming to America? I'm going to look like such a dingus on this episode this time. <laughs> We've all watched JT. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's not here. We'll Benny talk. isn't here. So somebody has to. <laughs> it's you gotta, you gotta keep the bit alive. Yeah. You gotta keep it going. I know. We're going to need your answer. In I think that James Earl Jones. No. As not. a dad, I know. Four. And it, <laughs> It's Madge. Um, the fuck's her last name? Two. Give me an extra second to work uh, through the. Uh, uh, is it Madge? Is it uh, Ma- Ma- Madge Sinclair? Fuck. Nice. Another big is it? pull. <laughs> is it? I'm out. I'm out. Madge Sinclair. <laughs> pulls a John Jesus. Dagger. Wow. Last minute pulls Madge And Madge Sinclair. Last a night. huge swing in this one we have the slaps at 51 points to 28 right now brandon channeling his inner rain man right there uh, <laughs> did you see how he just pushed me away i got right in front like that that's a i'm okay with that yeah okay the, the game is not out of reach you guys need to hit your double uh let me take a look here yeah, I said 51-28. 51-28 okay. is correct. Yes. 
So you guys gotta gotta do well on your six pack here. Gotta I hit a faith. double, and you know, I I have faith in you, gentlemen. Question one in your six pack is in the category of Eddie the Cop, and that's worth three points. What directed, who directed Eddie Murphy in several movies in the 80s, directed Beverly Hills Cop 3? It's uh, John Landis, isn't it? John, yeah, it was John Landis, right? Yeah, because the other. Yeah, yep. One, yep. Go. John Landis. Landis is correct for three points. That was a good one. Next question is He can speak to animals. What actor slash writer? No, how slash, much? How many points? Oh, excuse me, for one point. Okay. What actor slash writer slash director voiced the role of the Bengal tiger named Jake, who Dr. Doolittle saves at the end of the first Dr. Doolittle movie? Albert Brooks. Yep, go for it. Yep. Al Good. Albert Brooks. Good for a point. No hesitation on these guys. Question Prince Akeem. For four points. What is the name of the elephant that Prince Akeem pets at the beginning of coming <laughs> to America while he is on a stroll with his father? It's it's Babar, right? It is Bab it is Babar, yeah. Hello, Babar. That is correct for four points. <laughs> I love that that came back up. <laughs> yes, it did. Love it. Question. Next question is in the category of Hercules, Hercules. And this is good for six points. So we're going to have to double down on this double one. Double down, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. What was the category again? Hercules. 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 So, okay. Hercules. Professor, now, man. the slaps, you guys can hoss hold them if you want. No. Nope. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to go with the 18 <laughs> point swing. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So for 12 <laughs> big points, boys, <laughs> according to Grandma Anna Pearl Clump, who is the only white man to make her moist? Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I know he wants to quote it, too. Oh, my Go God. ahead. Wow. Just confirm with me, though. Mike Douglas, right? Mike Douglas. Can get me. I, I honestly haven't seen it here, remember it, but I feel like you got it. So It's Mike Douglas. <laughs> Mike Douglas for 12 points oh, is the only man to make Anna Yes, Pearl. DJ, because I did not remember that. Great job, points. sir. Lovely. I got you. Oh, I redeemed myself in round two there. Oh, I feel God. better oh, now. Smooth. The score currently stands at 51 to 48. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That nice was a win. big one right there. Oh, that was a big one. Next Boys. question is in Animated Eddie for two points. Okay. In Shrek yeah, they, 2. They still, yeah, they still say that. In Shrek 2, Fiona's father, voiced by John Cleese, jumps in front of Shrek and takes the fairy godmother's blast, which averts him to his revi... Blah, blah, blah. Let me start over. Blah. In Shrek 2, Fiona's father, voiced by John Cleese, jumps in front of Shrek and takes the fairy godmother's blast, which reverts him to his original form. That is what? He's a frog, right? I think so. I can't remember now. Yeah, I, uh, frog. Yeah, go, yeah. That is correct for two okay. points. There you go. I would like to point out that I could at least say revert. <laughs> <laughs> Giving her it comes, you know, <laughs> it comes down to this, folks. In the category of serious Eddie for five points. No, I gotta take it. Take the win. Wait, well, no, no, we, we, oh, we oh, yeah, we oh yeah, we oh yeah, we yeah, we have to it's for the win. So I guess yeah, we have to do the hospital. Well, but if they if they don't get it, no, but if they get it, they win. So it is it's the score is currently fifty one to 50. fifty. Let's do this. Let's say the question first, then we'll decide if we <laughs> <laughs> It is fifty. No, no. Is that so cool? Is that cool? Well, no, because because if they get it, they win no matter what. Yeah, but yeah. if they get it, they win no matter what. If yeah, but do you want them to win by win. five points or ten points? <laughs> yeah, just win by five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Why would we hustle all this? We lose by more. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh yeah. No, yeah, but but don't. Right. But, okay, if they, yeah, but if they don't get it, then we have a so chance. If they to... if they miss, the so slaps win. If they get the correction, if they get the question right, Oceans two wins. Okay, got it. Here we it's go. It's a great yeah, match, you guys. Serious Eddie, yeah. 51 to 50. Maybe one of our highest scoring matches. Insane. What that, how Eddie, many hints? Or, I'm sorry. You have one hint hints, right? left. Or one hint? Yeah, I okay. mean, we haven't used both of them, but they have oh, one excuse hint me. per question. Yeah, exactly. There's one hint per question. So even if you had two, I'll just oh, repeat I the bartender's hint again. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
Serious Eddie for five points. What Eddie Murphy movie centers around a cook who becomes a caretaker and father figure to three generations of women over a period of years? It's Mr. Church, right? I'm going to say Mr. Something. Yeah. Yep, Mr. It's Church. It's Mr. Church. Yeah, Mr. Church. Your losers today, folks, are the slaps, but not without putting up a hell of a fight. <laughs> okay, and your winners nice. today, nice nice the job, Oceans 2. Nice. Good job all around. The slaps, you're the winners in my heart for getting the Ajanti dagger. That was dagger. <laughs> that, yeah. Wow. 55 to 51. That's insane. the final score. That's insane. That's incredible. Oh. That's incredible. That, that has to be, our, I think, our, our highest scoring match. That was awesome. That's incredible. Great job, well, everybody. Most, most viewed match, I would imagine, as well, right? <laughs> More than likely. <laughs> yes, right? More than likely, like for sure. At least, yeah. At least 15. <laughs> <laughs> Tens <laughs> of views it's, are going to come yeah. in. <laughs> the, the view count's going to be in Roman numerals, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the hell of and a match. And it's going to be yeah. under an X. <laughs> <laughs> A hell of a match. I mean, I, I am curious Incredible. to see how this the pendulum would have swung if you guys maybe had uh, the slaps would have gotten a category that they were wanting, like an 80s Eddie in round number two. But still, an incredible match. The Ajanti dagger. I didn't think anybody was going to pull that. Uh, I, I did. Wow. Well, I knew it was I did, a, Yeah. Anyways, I had to yeah. go on Wikipedia to look up uh, bartender's hint for Ajanti. <laughs> 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 so, the great pull. Rue, DJ, you guys are the winners. You guys almost went, you went perfect in round number one. You got some steals in round number two. Look, you guys went perfect in your six pack too. Absolutely. That's an incredible showing. And I you got that. the double down. So you guys know you're Eddie Murphy. Eddie, we know you're watching. <laughs> These guys are fans. I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Pitch, promote, plug. The floor is yours. Amaru, start us off. Uh, first off, thank you to DJ because he definitely knew a lot of questions that I did not, especially in that uh, that third round in that six pack. So would not have done it without him. Uh, check me out on Bite Size Breakdown, of course, bitesizebreakdown.com. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I recently did an interview with Blue Beetle director Angel Manuel Soto. It's really fun time. Uh, I do a one gotta stay scenario with uh, Puerto Rican actors and actresses, uh, and he was very mad but very happy to answer it anyway. And talked a lot uh, uh, about Blue Beetle as well. So go check that out on the Bite Size Breakdown channel and find uh, me at my name Amaru Moses, and also at Bite Size Breakdown Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you, buddy. DJ, host of Cinephiles. Nope, nope, nope. That's somebody. Cinemojis. Cinemojis. I know. I, know. I was giving him a hard time. I did that to him on his show. <laughs> No, uh, honestly, hey, first off, trust your tag team partner because they will not let you stray, you know? <laughs> Always just go with their – no, 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 I'm talking about you. You let me, let me <laughs> go with that wrong answer in round two. <laughs> no, uh, honestly, thanks for having us. This was a blast. Um, glad to have a you know partner that, like Rue, knows so much, knowledgeable. And like he said, follow his show. It's really good. Um, and as Moose was teasing me about, I actually have a new show now too called Cinemojis. Uh, it's on this network, so check it out. It releases uh, second Thursday of every month basically combines the use of emojis with movie trivia and we kind of like do the plot of the movie with emojis and you have to give me the title of the movie to as the answer so check that out you could follow me on twitter at dj uh shoot me a text or dm me if you want to be on the show if you're a fan um and yeah. that's that's all i got there you go put us up put us on I almost, I almost didn't recognize you, DJ, because you're wearing sleeves. So I think this is the yeah. first time I've actually it's, seen you wear sleeves. It's a winter season, so you know you got to like add a little bit of layer. <laughs> got it, got it. Uh, turn it over to the slaps, Tommy Goo, Brandon. Hell of a freaking showing! I know you guys are going to kick yourself over some round one questions, but dude, your six back was incredible. You guys beat the hostile. You doubled down when you needed to. Amazing play, guys. Honestly, take it away. Uh, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. No, yeah, I just want to say, yeah, you guys are awesome. Um, like, unfortunately, 0 for 2 coming on here, but like, I don't mind losing the freaking studs, man. Like I said, like, you guys, <laughs> you guys know your stuff. Like, I like, I love Eddie Murphy, and you know, for us, like, for me, it, it's coming to America, Beverly Hills Cop. Um, and uh, those are like the films that I've seen the most out of all of the films that I've seen of him. And there's and and uh, and actually Harlem Nights is a is a big one for me too. Harlem Nights is one of my favorite ones. But uh, yeah, I appreciate the opportunity to come on, and it's it's just fun, man. It's just kind of cool to 
just kind of meet other kind of uh, similar minds, man, like minds with just the movie trivia and everything like that. Um, I also like song trivia too, so that's another good one that we could possibly do. But I'd love to do it again. Like I said, I don't mind. I don't mind losing, getting the getting my uh, getting our butts whooped. But no, sure. it's cool, man. It's it's cool to to play against some studs, man. It's awesome. So I appreciate it. You guys are good, man. I, I, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, kind of like you said, I was actually undefeated um, until today. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to. I want to actually. Play. And then my still, slappy still the undefeated time. singles. Yeah, my 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 fellow slap over here. Because uh, I would have got the crap kicked out of me if it wasn't for him on this one. And um, again, you guys, uh, Oceans Two, you guys were awesome. Um, and and props and respect to you guys. And props and respect to Benny and Moose uh, and uh, everyone else. And thank you guys very much. I'm not on any social media, so I could fall off the grid at any moment. No one would ever know. <laughs> so you could find me at, you don't know where. But, <laughs> anyhow, uh, but that's it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And, of course, my co-host with the most, Allison Salamone. Yes. Well done yeah. today. Uh, you can find me on here sometimes hosting, and uh, usually I'm much better at my pronunciations, but Moose gave me all the hard words today because um, someone has to do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, you can find me sometimes on Twitter. I'm there at Allison Solomon, mostly so I can stay in contact for when I'm needed for trivia. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's really kind of about it. Uh, I've been over on the Flick and Reel channel, um, have old episodes of uh, You've Never Seen It slash Reels Like the First Time if you want to check those out. Um, but yeah, that's really kind of it. That's that's me. So you'll find me sometimes on here. Um, yay. Well, thank you all, Paul, <laughs> seriously, for coming on the show. We very much appreciate it. We love to have you guys. You guys are always welcome back. Any topic is on the plate for you guys. We'll absolutely write matches. Uh, so thank you guys again. Please come back. Thank all of you who are watching. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. We love you. Uh, and I, there's something we're supposed to say at the end of this, which... How does Benny say it? Like, click, or subscribe to this video, or fuck off our channel. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>